So I did okay today. And um, that's what I'm taking home. And there's a bunch of catch and release, of course. You have to have a look and see what happens then. Well, g'day. Um, it's a beautiful day. Just woke up, another day camping. So, to show you what I woke up to, last day here. So I will probably um, shoot out, but uh, such a shame because um, when you see how glassy it is, it's always that that day that you sort of wish you could have spent more time camping and and relaxing. Check this out. Just amazing, isn't it? Ah, uh, well, time to get a move on. Got some fishing to do, so cross your fingers. Um, yesterday I did all right, caught a few salmon. Well, a couple, not many, but a decent sized salmon. Um, got a, um, a big Tommy for dinner, and I uh, got a flathead, which I almost was gonna eat for dinner, but he's a bit too big, so I'll take him home, cook him up properly. Sometimes and I can't seem to find the light Between the walls I built for myself right in my mind And then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before When I got you, it's all gonna be alright Thinking about all the things we did tonight What a time to be alive Just you and I Back at Berry Bay, do some fishing. A few on the beach, they're all using baits. Now, once again, I, I love this beach, but this area up here we're coming to where the rocks and the waves wash in, you get a big freak wave in there, you've got to have your exit points, otherwise, you're um, 
you will get slammed. Nothing worse than falling over and landing on some rocks. I personally have been airlifted <laughs> from a um, spot when I was spear fishing for falling on rocks. So <laughs> that's why I'm a bit hesitant. That's why I warn people about it because um, it kind of ruined our day. I haven't really captured footage of it. But you'll get salmon, you'll actually see them right on this edge. Right coming in. Nice and close. So, do not think you're going to cast a million miles away. But I mean, in reality, where that whitewash is just out there, um, I find a lot of fish too. I'm not going to cast right over those rocks, they're just asking for it. At least in these close ones, I've got a tiny bit of time to convince a fish not to swim around those rocks. Let's wait for, um, wait to give me a break. And ah, I can just walk around here. Okay, so here's a bit of an exit point. You can see the waves coming right up to here, yeah? So I can run right up here behind me. Come on. I think I've got up here a bit more dry land. Here's another spot where I can get a bit of access to run away if I need to. Here we gotta get a bit close to the edge and back cast. Okay, that was a good cast. Uh, spot over there. Again, there's a rock straight over there, so just trying to avoid that. Rick's going to take my lure. Right, oh, oh give me a bite. Aha! Got him. Oh, not very big. Oh, but he got bigger. It's a salmon, not a not a mully way for sure. You can tell because they're a little boom, 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 boom. But here we go. Oh, decent sized salmon. Nice. Try and use the wave, bring it in. Now that was right on the edge here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good sized salmon. Oh, thank you, fish. Oh. All right, so catch and release but that's uh oh, i don't know <laughs> good 35 mate 40 40 centimeters pretty healthy looking fish anyway go right, there you go fish goes back so well let's just see if there's any more out there oh he's on oh he's on again <laughs> He's a, oh, it's a little one. What is it? Little mullet? No, he came off. <laughs> but what I like about these paddle tail lures is you can slow the retrieve down so I can tailor it to the species. You know, I can, I can do a fast retrieve and jiggle around a lot or I can do a really slow retrieve and it's still going to still gonna paddle and jiggle bring attention to itself so I really 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 dig these lures oh yeah we're on 
Okay, so another salmon I can feel by the little shakes. I'm going to keep tension on with these because I prefer not to pin it on my body. I prefer to hold it a bit harder in your arms, but um, if they jump, then then it's a bit easier to not lose tension. So not quite as big as the last one. Oops. Bring it a bit. Similar size though. But yeah. Yeah they're good looking fish, I tell you what. Gotta love the salmon. Anyway. Take the leaves, wait for the wave. There you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, getting bites. Come on, salmon. Bite. Come on. Come on. Little bites. Oh, they're little fish. <laughs> How funny. They were tiny. They were probably, they were probably like little Tommies or little salmon. <laughs> but you never know. All that action might have brought something bigger to have a look. But you can see this is a little bit of a deeper channel just in between and that's what I'm doing is trying to cast over that and then drag my lure straight through it. Okay, I know you didn't catch that on the film but as soon as the lure hit the water, got him. Oops. So it's a decent sized salmon again. Try to bring him in, use the wave if I can. Yeah. Biggest size salmon for the day so far, I reckon. Whoa. Yeah, it's like a 40 centimeter. Take the, um, come on bud. lure out and he's really gobbled that one down but that's a whoa <laughs> that's, a, that's a decent sized salmon so I get him back in the water had to manhandle him a bit sadly come on that's it yeah and he's off so good all right so you can see the lure is a bit broken from that last salmon now don't just um, chuck the lure away. I most likely can re-thread it and reuse it. So there. And that'll do fine. So let's give it a go. <clears throat> Yep, we got a school out there. I can see a bit of grey just out there. And that's a school of salmon. Now this one isn't as big as the last. <laughs> but he's he's jumping a bit. Hopefully he'll put on a show. <laughs> nice. Great. There he is. Going, going. Okay, using the waves. Yeah, they're all they're all a decent size. He's not quite as big. Oh, and here's something interesting. Wait a second, I'll wait till he settles down. Oh well, he hit that hard from the side. It looks like. Um. All right. So this one's got a bend. He's either broken his back at some stage. Or potentially there's like a, a spinal disease that some of these fish have. Now it doesn't seem to be fatal for a lot of them, they still grow and a lot of species can have that type of thing. Seen it in dusky morwong and a few other species so so it's not a lot put him out of his misery because your spine's got a bent back. 
still catch and release. Um, it just happens to be something you find with quite a lot of fish. All right, time for something to eat. So this lure's done us well. I will change it though now, I think. Once it's down to there, it's more likely something will grab it and then they'll just bust it off and then of course it just turns into litter. So change it over, put a fresh lure on and um, hooks your sharp. And yeah, back in it. So how beautiful is that? What a day. What a day. Perfection. Well, here's a funny thing. Here I am eating lunch. And sometimes it's a good idea to walk up the top of the beach and have a look down because you see what's happening. I mean, right now I can see a bunch of dolphins out there, but that's actually not what's really interesting. Wow, there's a lot of dolphins. I don't know if you can see them surfing right now. Wow. Oh, I'm jumping. Oh, wow, how privileged are we just to be able to see that. What beautiful dolphins. That is a pod of maybe 20 dolphins. That's huge. And they're swimming along. Look, that's one of the beautiful things is that you can come up and you can see that type of stuff. But that's even, that's amazing. And I love it. And I so appreciate that. But what I'm trying to keep my eye on is the grey school of salmon that I've been hooking onto. And they're just, well, they were just over there before the dolphins <laughs> distracted me. But yeah, they're just here. So that's great. I mean, you can tell the salmon because I've been watching them now for about five minutes and they're just slowly moving around. Anyway, so that's where I'll be casting. I'll have a look, of course, just as I finish lunch to get ready to see I can make sure when I can pick them. And if you know where the school is, obviously it's an easy thing just to cast straight into it. And you know, you're gonna get a few hookups um, as long as you can hold the school there. But yeah, that's a good sight. So yeah, higher elevation and, and you get to see a bit more. Can't see the school anymore, but I'll, I'll keep my eyes peeled. It'll be there still, somewhere. Anyway, another tip of the day. Thinking about all the things we did tonight What a time to be alive Just you and I Just you and I little fish there you go another one catch and release now here's something cool that is a shark bite that's probably why the fish was swimming so fast that's just recently been bitten so what you have in here is a whole lot of bronze whalers and stuff battery died and uh, we got quite a few more um, uh, salmon so didn't get to see that sadly but um, yeah it's been a good day and I can't seem to find a light Between the walls I built for myself right in my mind And then you came over and you showed me Oh, now it's a Trevally! Nice! <laughs> nice! Trevally on a soft plastic! <laughs> 